It is easy folks by food. Some will be fair. Amo más un poquito. Siamo sono più veri per più muso. Alright guys, how are we doing? We having a good day? Right, I bet you weren't expect- well, I think some of you were expecting this. But yeah, fan it too, how about that eh? How about that? Yeah, the, the lion sticker was a bit of a giveaway. The lion sticker was a bit of a giveaway. Right, so... Hey Mary, thank you so much for the host guys as well and all them stickers. I hope we're all having an awesome day. Hi life, remember don't spam the, uh, the symbols, they'll delete you. But yeah, so this is 
Planet Zoo. Now this is the zoo that you get to do in the tutorial. Hey, how you doing? You having a good day? We love ya! <laughs> and what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna look after the zoo. Oh no! What? Our wolf's injured? Right, we need to go find this guy. Let's go find him. So, wolf... Wait, wolf. Gotta remember how to do this. Oh, let's... Do you know what? Should we just get rid? Should we just get rid of him? Right. So, we need to get into the vets. Shrugs, what? <laughs> this is awesome, it is. So, let me get into the vet. I think it's this one over here. They're all injured, they're not well. They're not well, guys. Let me remember where the vet says. I think it was. Right, well, quarantine. Oh, that's, yeah, we'll, we'll sell it. We'll sell it. We'll do what we do and dress it well, right? You've been waiting all day for this. How did you know this was going on? I never told anyone. What are you on about? Right. So, in here, we have obviously have our injectives. Like, low welfare? Oh, no. Right, so our snow leopard lives in this area over here. And do you want to see something crazy cool, guys? What we'll do, first of all, let's fix his habitat, okay? So, social-wise, he's quite low. He's quite, he's quite stressed. Um, interestingly, let's fix his habitat first though. So, he needs to cool down a bit. Also remember, we're playing on family friendly. Yeah, family friendly together guys, so behave. So behave. Right, so, what we want to do first is, we're going to sort out his terrain. Terrain type to pull for this animal. So that's what we're going to try and sort out first. So, we can jump into terrain here. And then this gives us all the different options to change that around. Um, you've all guessed. Well, I know, I was trying to hide it. I was trying to hide it. This looks very pretty Zoo Tycoon. It is. It is. But uh, it's Planet Zoo. So what you do then is in the terrain up here, you can click on here. And similar to how you can in Planet Coaster and Jurassic Evolution, you can actually go into here and you can see what terrain suits the... Um, the person, the, sorry, the animal you're looking after. Oh, I think you brought the stickers. Look at all the lions. Look at all those little guys. So what we've noticed from this terrain distribution is that our snow leopard has very little snow. So we need to sort that out. I'll have to keep the GPU similar to Python. Yeah, I think the settings seem to be very similar um, usage wise to Planet Coaster, but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. So what I need to do is, I have to keep an eye on these levels, and like we do on the other ones, is try and balance these so our, um, our animals are much happier. So I'm trying to add rock in and get rid of some grass, because he's not a big fan of grass. So anywhere that's green, I'm just going to get rid of. Thank you so much for all the stickers, guys. So who's, who's looking forward to this? Like, you guys know how hyped I've been for this. It looks crazy good. Okay, so his terrain's better for him. So... That should start improving here, yeah. So then we need to cool him down. And then it all looks good on that. So do you wanna see something really cool, guys? Cause I think I just saw Okay, what have we got in here? I think we want it. So watch this, guys. And you can like look right up against the animals. Now what you can also do that is super cool is if I double click the animal, you get like a special view where you can then follow them around like that is so cool so pretty it's very pretty it's very pretty indeed i yeah it's it is crazy good so for all them people that used to play zoo tycoon a lot i think you're going to enjoy this oh, very much this is super cool it is it's so cool and look you get cinematic camera as well so you can have this sort of view on all of your animals which makes a nice way to go around and look at it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, oh, dangerous, two animals have escaped. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. All right, we're gonna have to try and get this, we'll try and get this little guy back. All right, we've got a keeper on route. What we need to do is try to move him back. So where's the zebra? Oh, wait, wait, this is his enclosure? Okay, I think he just got stuck. I think he just got stuck. The graphics and everything is so cool. Yeah. What treatment failing? Oh my days. We can't even fix that one. That's coming soon. <laughs> okay, so we need to avoid... Ignore that for now. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and do some more of this leopard because I think we need to sort this guy out. He's super cute. He needs to be super happy, right? Uh, yeah, we just try not to use links in chat. I'll add it to uh, the timer when I get a chance tonight. So are we going to dismantle these fences and let the lions run wild? No, we can't do that. They'll get the people in our park. So what we need to do is we need to get his temperature down. So I think that's in habitat. I think. Let me try and find it. Oh, he's on the run again. He's on the run again. So habitat, let's try. Heaters and coolers. Right, so let's get some small coolers. Okay, so you see how the temperature maps here? And all of this area is nice and cool. Damn. I mean, I wonder if someone could eat a person. What is it, you guys? You always want to let me let the animals out. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you guys want me to try and find out in the game, or we want to experiment, bar letting the animals out, we can try it. Because it's fun. Oh my days, you guys are the worst sometimes, you know that? Animals need food, yeah, that's true. That is true. <laughs> right. So what we're doing, just cooling down his habitat. So you see how the coolers are bringing the temperature down? So what I'm gonna try and do is get at least the red area down to sort of a, a good yellow. By the way, we're on like a, an unlimited level here. So whereas normally when you watch me play Planet Coaster, we have like so much money to spend or anything like that. Because this is like a preview, I can spend as much money as I want, so I can spam these heaters. Whereas normally, you'd probably want to try and place them, like, perfectly. Um, but we're, we're alright for that right now. Can't imagine that. Let all the dinos, lions, and tigers out. Planet Royale battle mode. Oh my days, no. We don't want to be doing that. We don't want to be doing that. Hi ho to just come on. And I can imagine you lip syncing. So, I actually heard it on the walk-in this morning, and I was jamming. I was jamming. Oh, we're not happy about the, the rubbing pads, so we need to check that out in a minute. So, that should mean that our, our guys look better. Oh, this animal's starving? Oof, has this guy not got... I don't think this guy's got a... He's not got food in his habitat? Oh, we need to sort that out, right? Um, how much is this going to be? This, um, for the standard edition, is going to be £35. And for the deluxe edition, it's going to be 42 Okay, food and drink. So let's give him some food. Now, I don't think it matters which food I give him. So let's let's go for something that looks fancy. Let's go for this one. So hopefully that's going to bring up his food enrichment in a minute. Um, so yeah, that's how much it is. And on the deluxe edition, you get three more animals three more animals than you do in the normal one and you get access to the beta as well which starts the 24th of September how many notepads have you filled so far <laughs> are there any doggies in the game do you know what I'm, I've not got to that bit yet um, from the looks of it it's your standard zoo animals so what you have let me just close this for a second what you have down here obviously is your menu like you do on Planet Coaster Inside animal trading is where all of the animals that you can purchase for your park are. And in here you find out all about the stats, how old they are, stuff like that. So when you're after you creating a new enclosure, this is where you go and get all your animals. You source them from here and they go into like a, a center essentially in your park. And then once they're in your park from there, you could then have the ability to place them where you want. So, let's check how these little guys are doing. Oh, the giant turtle. Look at him. How cute is this guy? Should we call him Larry? Can we rename him? Should we see if we can rename him? Oh, no, he's already got a name. Oh, oh wait, wait. Yeah, we can. Yes. All right, we've renamed him Larry. There we go. Let's make sure we look after Larry now. Bertie... Barry, oh my days, all the all these names, all these names, right. So, ah, oh, Snow Leopard's got low welfare as well. Okay, so we're gonna sort out the tortoise first, and then we'll go back and do the Snow Leopard. So, nourishments, so we're talking food, right? What shall we get him? Do you want a big, <laughs> he's smaller than the food bowl. I think that one's too big. All right. <laughs> I think some of these guys probably are better with a food tray. 
So we'll give him both. We'll give him both. Hopefully that's going to bring that level up. And it should help with our food enrichment. So whilst that's sort of catching up there, I'm going to go check on that leopard because I'm worried about him. We need an Ella and a Lemon and a Burnout and a GT. Okay, what do we want to be, guys? We'll name you in the park. We will name you in the park. I'm going to just check on this Snow Leopard, though. I want to check he's okay. I want to check he's okay. Um, so, yeah, what I got to do before this was I got to play... Oh, he's asleep. Bless him. How is he? Oh, he's fine. He's all good. So, I got to play the tutorial, which is... Um, the alpha set up like this and it guides you around the park similar to when we did the planet coaster one so it gives you a sense of all the controls what's in the park and everything like that and then it also let you do tasks a bit more advanced so luckily we got through most of that which was good not bad should be sleeping to be honest games come streams are keeping you up i mean this just be glad you're not here like there's so much going on oh look at this guy Hi. Hi. Should we have a cinematic of him asleep? No? <laughs> oh, it's his butt. Right, what's his welfare like? All these animals are very undernourished. Oh, he's got a low social level. Okay, let's have a check. And his enrichments are low. So he's got two toy enrichments, but he's not a big fan of them. So should we see if we can find him something better? I think Bernard should be the hippo. It's a bit rude, isn't it? Feed your animals back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying. I want them to love me. All right, should we get him a football? I reckon the hippo likes a football. I think that, that should be an enrichment. There. Oh, that's for African elephants. Oops. Okay, let me find. So let me check what continent he's from. So, I think that was... Oh, maybe not. I can probably do it through species. Yeah. There we go. So, I can now filter by stuff he's interested in. Okay, so let's get him a... What did he say he had? He doesn't have a mud bath, so let's get him a mud bath. Everyone needs a mud bath in their life, right? Let's, let's like, hide it there. So, he's got a mud... Oh, look! He's already super happy about his mud bath. Check that out. Not sure if Planet Zoo or... Planet feed your animals. Yeah, so you've got to obviously make sure you look after the animals in the park. Because if you're not, guys, then how how do you imagine they're gonna like? Oh wait, what's he want? I think he wanted food. All right, let's get him a large food. Go look after him, you know. Well, I don't want to sleep all the time, but I'm not a big as uh, they <laughs> Everyone needs a mud bath. Yeah, we should probably quote that. We should probably quote that, guys. Alright, so let's try and work out this bit. So, hydration, the animal is thirsty. So, I feel like the park we've inherited, guys, seems to be a park that's essentially been set up without anything within the areas. So, we're going to keep an eye and we're going to check between the pens to try and work it out. I haven't got a clue what animal you could be. Right, oh. We got four alerts. So the hippos aren't happy, which is who we're trying to fix now. Oof, we've had an animal die, guys. Oof. Oh, no, it's the zebra. Oh, rest in peace, zebra. The vet's been called. Okay. Sorry to hear that, dude. <laughs> I know. I know, it's sad, right? I feel we would play this different if it was at home. Why? Do you reckon because I'd just go for friendly animals that I could definitely look after? Right, let's check the wolves out. Oh, so this is the, the feeder and gatekeeper guy. And what happens is when you inherit a new uh, animal, when you get a new animal from trading, he comes and drops it off and then he fills up all the feeders. Kind of similar to how the rangers do in Jurassic World. They've got a lot of food, they're good. Okay, so enrichments. Right, they've not got any toys at all in this pen. Should we get them some toys? No, because I think it would be set up a lot different. Oh, I get you, I get you. 
Many animals have low welfare. Yeah, all of my wolves. That's what we're coming to fix now. So, if I go filter, and then I go species, and then we're gonna go timber wolf. This is the easiest way to get for anything. Like Planet Coaster, there's a lot of options. So, I've got a feeling they've got no food and drink, like with the last area we looked at. Let's get them a few balls. And maybe a sprinkler, but to bring the temperature down a bit, might help them out a bit. They kind of like the sprinkler, okay. Let's get them two sprinklers then, you know, treat them. We'll properly treat them. Thank you, brother stickers. Hey, how are you doing, Techie? Are you having a good day? What am I playing? This is Planet Zoo. So this is not even out yet. We're playing live from Gamescom. This comes out in November. Yeah, Planet Zoo indeed. Are you on PC? Yes, we're currently playing this on PC. Thank you for all the stickers. Zoo Tycoon Spiritual Successor. Yeah, that's probably the best way to put it. Like, anyone that ever checked out Zoo Tycoon, this is going to be the game for you. Not enough space is available for all the animals. Okay, so this might be a bit um, over-inhabited. So we need to keep an eye on that. Christmas present. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, I, I kind of, between you and me, I've already got the day off work. So, you'll be able to watch this on 5th of November. <laughs> as soon as I found out the release date, I like text my boss and I was like, I'm having the day off. I, um, I'm going to plan this. So it's already booked off and everything. Right, so I've got to be careful here. So, sorry about going to be sick. I know, right? So, I've got to be really careful with the distribution. So when you guys have seen me play in Jurassic World, you know how I always unbalance things? What I've got to try and do is make sure these stay balanced. Did you tell your boss you booked it off for a game? No, I never tell him any of the things I book off. I'm just like, I need this time off. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh wait, so these guys like snow? Oh no, correct amount of snow. Okay, that's fine then. Right, let's get rid of some more grass. There's a lot of long grass, you see. So that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to balance out. We'll make this like a bit of a rocky mountain area, and then hopefully that's going to bring that level, level a bit more balanced. So that's what we try to do now. But yeah, you, you're telling me that I'm the only person that books off days for games, guys. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Do you know what I love when you, you stream from a booth like this? Is people just look through the window and it like one dude then just tries to look through the window but then look all the way through to the other side. It's not gonna work, mate. It's not gonna work. <laughs> yes, hold on. Yes, you are. Wait, I'm the only one? Nah, I'm not having that. I used to book a week off for like when games came out that I was proper into. I used to book like full weeks off. So that I could like have the day off and the whole week. Yeah. Not allowed to take time off. Oh, that sucks. I mean, you get six weeks off in summer though, so you're all good. Right. I think we've got this inhabit, um, this habitat down for these characters. Like, they're, they're pretty happy with these. We've got a lot of greens. The only thing that we've got low coverage of is, um, is, let me find it, the actual plants. So, we need to put some more plants into the park. You get 13 weeks holiday, yeah, so you're good. Yeah, see, you get loads of time off. So what we need to do now is if we go into nature and we swap to one of these continents. So let's go Europe. We're in great games continent, aren't we? So let's go Europe. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pick plants from this to increase our plant coverage, essentially, because it makes the uh, habitat even better for the, the animals. So let's just drop some of these in. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna spam this up a bit. We're gonna use it to hide the sprinkler so the sprinkler looks a bit more natural. And then hopefully that 38% is gonna start coming up. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Right, should we try and get some bigger plants? Cause I think, oh, they are the biggest? Okay. okay. 30 weeks, yeah. Yeah. So, super, super cool. What are you doing? So right now, 
I have got a notification that my Timberwolves um, weren't happy, so I'm just improving their environment. What I, what I first did was improve the terrain so that the land that they're actually on is more suited towards them. And now what I'm doing is improving the, um, the welfare again, but using the plant and environment. So I'm planting plants from areas that they're happy with. Is there a Zoopedia? Yes, there is a Zoopedia. I believe it's in here. If I remember rightly. Oh no, I'm not, it's there. So the Zoopedia isn't in the alpha because this is like a limited build. But if you look at the top uh, left corner, that's where the Zoopedia would be. Uh, but it does have one and it's, it's noted in the, um, in the tutorial that when you are working through different bits, if you get stuck, it's a great place to go and reference back and learn more about your animals. So it's definitely one to check out if when you pick this up, you're struggling a little bit. It's doing a bit, a little bit, but yeah, it's pretty much it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to make this this area a bit more natural for these guys. Let's get some big trees in. Ooh, ooh, no, they weren't happy with the big trees. Oh, it's over coveraged. It's over coveraged. Just realised I'm doing it the wrong way around. So let's remove some of these. Um. Yeah, it's over coverage. My bad. My bad. I realized, didn't realize the slider was the opposite side of it. So, 33. We're going to take out the big trees because these will free up the most amount of room the quickest. Okay, so that's balanced now. Terrain's balanced. So that means that their welfare should be fine. So, the only problem the wolves have got is there's too many of them. So, what I'm going to try and do is... If I move these to this location over here, I believe I can then trade them. So then what I'll be able to do then is I'll just free up a bit of space. Many animals are close to death. This is going well. This is going well. They're starving. They've got food. Okay. Oops. All right. Let's check this. Uh, not continent. Not continent. Hippo. Food. Which one's the food? Yeah, food. They've got food. All right, let's just put one of each side. Ah, oh, he died. Oof. Oof. The fussy eaters. Yeah, so that's the thing, isn't it? Like, animals all need to be treated in a different way. So, none of them have food. Right, we're going to do a little run around. Larry's not got food either. Okay, let's find Larry some food. So, giant tortoise. I'm just, because I'm not sure which food he wants, I'm giving him all the food. He has the number for the RSPCA. <laughs> I told you this is an inhabited park. I'm trying. Right, how's he doing on everything else? Oh, so this guy doesn't have enough shelter. So we need to build him a shelter. So for certain animals, that um, are outdoor, we can build them shelter to keep them out of the sun. So that's what we're going to do next. I can't believe you're finding the number, guys. Come on. Come on. Right. So what I'm going to do is... Habitats... Uh, let me remember this. So... I believe it is in here. But... Let me take this filters off. Okay. So... He needs a shelter. That's a very big shelter. Let's let's make it a bit smaller. And then what you can do, like with um, <laughs> pizza, we can't get them pizza, guys. Like we can do with most of, like we do in most of our planet coaster levels, is we can build uh, multiple different areas inside. So that's what we're gonna do. So. Look, they can go inside and they can have a bit of food. They should be happier with that. They should be happier with that. Yeah, so he's happy now. He's happy. Oh my days, all them stickers. All of them stickers. Thank you. You give them ice cream? I don't think we can give the tortoises ice cream, guys. It's a great idea. I don't think they like it. Alright, so we've got too much short grass. And not enough sand. So... 
I'm going to try and fix that balance. Right, and then we need some long breaths. <laughs> Stop trying to give the tortoises uh, ice cream. There we go. So, what are these guys? What's up with them? What? Are they protesting? Uh-oh. We got a protest going on in the park, guys. We got... They, they want me to free the giraffe? <laughs> oh, where's that gift? Look at that. That elephant is on the run. Guys, did you see the picture that I posted as part of, like, going live today? Um, on the stand, they've got, like, this photo section, and they got this really cool elephant. But then the photo section is, like, all sand. So you have to step on the sand to get in. It's really cool. Right, they've got food enrichment, though. Okay. I thought I'd give him the right food. He's definitely a giant turtle, isn't he? Yeah. So I give him all of them food trays. He's got, like, well, from a ball. He should be all right. I think. <laughs> uh, is that it, guys? Now, instead of talking, we're just posting our best gifts. Stop trying to feel the animals' bad food. Oof. Oof. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, keeper's been requested. Okay. So, we had a couple issues where our hippos have obviously died. I mean, yeah. That didn't go too well. So what, what we're going to do is try and keep the other animals alive. And at the same time, we're going to get some more hippos. So let me find some more hippos. Is there any animals that we want to try and... Oh, which hippo should we have, guys? Should the, the girl hippo or the boy hippo? Which one do we think? Hippo floater. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Animals have rights. Guys, I'm trying. Come on. I'm not looking after people. When we're on Planet Coaster, there's a lot less you've got to think about. Like, people are easy to deal with. Animals are like... Pets are hard, man. Animal needs to be restored to good health for a CC bonus. Oh, my days. So, a really interesting feature that I noticed in the... Um, in the tutorial is when you're placing animals in the animal trade center if you click two of them of the same species it allows you to move them at the same time so then if i put center zoo i can then bring them both in at the same time so what we're going to do is we're going to watch and then the gates here are like the zookeeper doors so every enclosure you've got to make sure you have one of these on um People are easy to deal with, you say? Yeah, that's true. That's true. And what'll happen is in a minute when the, um... Oh no, a dangerous animal's escape. Guys, you got your wish. What? There's a bear loose. Um, um, uh, I got a bear loose, guys. The enclosure's broke. Oh no, now there's a the baby bear loose. Oh, uh, ah, now there's a big bear loose. Guys, these guys are not happy. They had nothing to do, and now they're breaking out the habitat. Right, let's try and fix this quick. Uh, barriers. Steel mesh. <laughs> you can't break this one. Oh, no, I have to do it in these proper habitat. Oh, okay, wooden logs. Wait, now let me fix it like that. Um, okay, let me just double check how I do this. So. Nope. Alright. I mean, you can barely call that a species. Look! Look at the people! Are you having fun, guys? Are you having fun? Yeah, we need to sort the bears out. We need to sort the bears out. So. Oh, they're so cute, though, when they're walking around. Alright, let's put them back in there. So, wooden logs, and then, wooden log. So before, when I was drawing it, because no one had broke out, it was, it was working easier. Um, okay, how do I, let me try and work out how I get rid of that. 
I heard they got a big grizzly. Oh my days. Dangerous animals have escaped, I know. Okay, let me... Nope. Right, you know what? We're just gonna have some bears loose. <laughs> oh my days, no one's gonna come visit this park. Look, the bears are literally scaring everyone away. Should we follow him? Wait, wait, what we could do is watch. So, you have that really cool dudes. Um, really cool view, don't you? For cinematics. So let's just follow the bear on his little adventure for a sec. It's my day of perfect tyrant day at the zoo following the bear. Right, this is actually good, a good test of the cinematic view because the bear's gonna obviously interact and he's gonna run around. So, hopefully, it looks like he's gonna have a sleep. Right, what's he doing? What's he doing? Do we trade him? Do we sell him and then we fix the, um, the pen, guys? You know what I'm gonna do? We've still got, we still got like 2,000 people in the park. So I am gonna try and repair this. Oh, okay repaired itself unless what happens is there might be a scheduled task to fix repairs I've not actually looked at um, what different people do. oh guys did you see that do it again do it again oof oh that was super cute he's not gonna do it now is he right you need to go in your pen why is he... He's misbehaving, guys. That's meant to put him straight back in there. Oh, delivery scheduled. Oh, okay. So I think the park keeper's going to go grab him. At least there isn't a T-Rex. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Right. we got more animals around here. Okay. And then that's the guy that we've already moved. But I'll just do it again just in case. Okay. That should fix itself in a minute. Oh. Alright, so, boxed outside of a habitat for a long time. That's an interesting one. I mean, at least you don't have Minella roaring at each other. <laughs> oh, so this is a thing that I was joking about before that I was a bit worried about, is when they get injured, we, we gotta call a vet. Okay, so that cancels the call. So the vet has been called. How has he managed to hurt himself? Bless him. There's something to do with his park. I don't think there's enough rock surface. We'll get him some. This looks pretty rad. Yeah, Biggie, this is super cool. This is super cool indeed. Um, it's a lot of fun. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clear out some sand. Oh no, sands? No, sand's okay. We're gonna clear out some soil and put some more rock surface in. The football bit him, do you reckon? Do you reckon that's what happened? Hi Silver, you having a good day? Is this out? No, this comes out on November 5th. This is early access um, from Gamescom. Um, but yeah, it's super, super cool. Um, let me just... You know when you're on like a different computer and you're like, I gotta make sure I do this right. Needs to grab something for the other page. Um, GT, that thing that I put in mod section the other day, uh, is live. Thank you for the pizza. Wait, we can't feed pe people pizza. Yeah, so if there's any questions you want to know, Biggie, about the game, feel free to ask. Um, what we're doing today is basically exploring it and seeing where we get to with different areas and different parts of it. So if you've got any ideas or anything you want to check out, however crazy, we'll try them. We found out the animals escape very much like Jurassic World, so that's pretty dangerous. And if you're interested in trying this out before it's released, there is actually a beta that starts on the 24th of September. But to be in that, you've got to get the deluxe version um, over the standard version. Which... 
I'll hopefully be doing. Okay, you only needed a little bit of rock, but that looks like the balance is better. Hi SWAT, you having a good day? How are you doing? It looks pretty forward. Yeah, so if you've played like um, Planet Coaster or you've played one of the old Zoo Tycoons, you're very much going to feel at home playing this. I play a lot of Planet Coaster, so jumping straight into this was like no issue. I completely understood what was going on. The only bits I've had to learn is how to better look after certain animals. And I'm saying it like that because the guys are going to be like, well, you just had an animal die. But we inhabited a pen, you see. So we're currently trying to improve all of the pens for this zoo. You don't know. Hey, here, are you having a good day? But really cool. Yeah, it's super, super cool. It is super, super cool. Right, let me turn this. So we're going to... This is going to close off a bit of view. So... It gives them a bit of privacy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like here because, you know, animals get nervous, right? And then what I can do is with shift, I can bring it lower because what I'm gonna do is like have that a bit of a water cover area, right? Oh, wicked whisperer. Will you um, take a, a shot of that for me? Okay, so where are my hippos at? Where are my hippos at? Where are they at? Oh. Oh. We got new hippos though, right? Didn't we? Didn't we get new hippo? He's not the new hippo, is he? Oof. Oof. <laughs> I'm new to Mixer, and to be honest, it, it looks so much better compared to uh, Twitch. Well, welcome to Mixer. Welcome to Mixer indeed. If you've ever got any questions or anything, just pop it. Okay. It wasn't... Oh. Whew. I thought it was this guy. Okay, so I want to locate this guy. So can I do it from here? Yeah. Oh, he's there swimming. He's swimming. Okay, so this is the guy we're trying to help out now. Hey, Amy, how you doing today? You having a good day? But yeah, welcome to the platform and welcome to Planet Zoo. Okay. Cleanliness. Oof. Requires the keepers to clean the pen. Okay. And they want some more hard, uh, hard shelter. So let's build another one of those. Let me just check. Oh, habitat bedding. Should we get him some bedding as well? But everyone's so welcoming. Yeah, we're like a family on here. Like a family. Okay. Wow, that's massive. We don't want to go that big. We don't want to go that big. How's your day? You know what? I'm having an awesome day. Like, absolutely awesome. I spent the afternoon chilling in the indie booth checking out some indie titles and then i literally pop right over here to um to come and check this out so i've been having a bit of a nosy round seeing what all the different uh different people are doing tell you what guys you're gonna have to i'll take some better pictures of this stand this stand is insane they've got like sand they've got like pagodas like it's nuts i love it and they've even got like these trees that you can like sit around like a, a bench around the tree. It's so chill, it's so chill. This game looks so good, it really does. Like, I honestly, I'm like overly excited to play it because the guys will tell you who are in here all the time. I've been looking forward to this one just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, I think this guy's gonna be all right. Ah, oh, no, so. Uh, you're gonna take it home. I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I could literally just like I don't know. I just want it So one of the things that you need to be aware of when you're doing environments is you can obviously pick as many plants as you want but um, They're not always right for the animal. Okay, so what's happened here is I've looked in the hippos uh, welfare and you see these alerts here this basically means that we've put a plant that isn't part of his natural day-to-day -day in his environment. So all of these with warnings I actually need to remove. Um, is it for PC? Yes, it is only coming out on PC. Sneak that PC into my, uh, into my suitcase. I mean, to be fair, it's quite a nice PC. It's quite a nice build. 
that isn't fitting in my suitcase though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to wait, guys. We're gonna have to wait. But yeah, what I need to do now is I need to just go around, try and find these plants, and I've gotta remove them so his habitat's a bit more natural for him because we want him to feel at home. Um, we don't want him to feel like he's been just dropped in the middle of nowhere, right? So, let's grab that one. So, and what this should hopefully do is help improve it overall. It'll be worth the wait, it will, it will. I'm gonna need to get on the beta though. Even if I'm not allowed to play it with you guys on the beta, I'm just gonna be like, I'm sorry guys, I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm busy today. Uh, and then you'll just see me boot it up. <laughs> no streams for two weeks, yeah. Where's Rob? Um, it shows that he's just currently chilling on Steam. Uh, but we've not seen him stream for a while. <laughs> Could you imagine? Nah, I'd miss you guys. It's too much fun playing games and chatting. Right. I got a feeling it's this plant here. Oh no, more dangerous animals have escaped. What's the escape this time? The bears again? It's the same bear. How's he getting out? Did we never get him back in? He's causing us an issue, this bear. He's causing an issue. That hippo's not well in the water. I know. We've called it, we called a vet. Should we get, I think we need some more staff though. Let me get some more keepers. Okay, we're gonna hire a keeper. We're gonna just go put him in there. And then hopefully he can sort it out quick. Cause that, yeah, it's just swimming, isn't it? All right. Oof, oof. Okay. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna throw a couple here. I don't think I have enough keepers. <clears throat> so what have we got? Wow, we, actually we've got quite a lot of keepers. They've just been lazy. <laughs> but yeah, so the way this works is like, um, like on the previous ones, you've got to make sure you've got certain types of staff to look after different stuff. Looks filthy, needs to be cleaned. Yeah, please will you clean it? And what you can also do, like in Planet Coaster, is to train people. So, what I want to do, I want to give them an environment that looks after the hippos. There isn't one preset up. So, see if I can solve this. So, that door. Okay, and then what it's saying is, okay, in the bottom right, add new roster. Oh, that kind of worked. Do, do, do. Add to selection, hold control. No, not quite sure. Not quite sure, but we've got the keeper in the park, so he can hopefully sort out that issue. I would have thought, yeah. This vet needs to hurry up. Maybe we don't have vets. What's up? How are you doing, Dave? You having a good day? You come to check out the um, the sneak peek at Planet Coaster. Should we just uh, let's just put them there as well. Uh Awesome, awesome. It's groovy. <laughs> I like it. Do you know, when someone says the word groovy, I just think of Austin Powers every time. Right, is this little bear again? Do you know what? I didn't want to do this, but we're going to sell the little bear because, bless him, he's causing me too much hassle. I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm sorry. What platform will this be on? So, at launch, which is the 5th of November, this will be on PC. And there'll be two versions of it. Um, there'll be a standard version, which is about £35, and there'll be a deluxe version, which is 43 With the deluxe, of a, uh, deluxe version, sorry, you get free extra animals, and you also get access to the beta, which is on the 24th of September. So if, like me, you really don't want to wait till November, that's probably your best opportunity to get straight in on this. <laughs> ah, okay, groovy bit. Is that what we're doing now? Is that it? Are we all groovy? Is that it? <laughs> Do you know if the game has a campaign, scenario, and sandbox mode? 
So, I know it's definitely got a tutorial. I believe this is the sandbox mode. And if it is like Planet Coaster, it is going to have a career mode. This, I believe, is the first um, scenario from the career mode. But I believe it's slightly adapted so that we can just we can play it out. Um, but yeah, it does have one. Similar to... Similar to most of the, the other titles they do, right? Because they always always have one in. Okay, guys, you'd be happy to know we've only got in here. Oh wow. So we've got a we got a Jurassic World crossover right now, guys. <laughs> um yeah, my hippo didn't get taken by the vet. I mean, yeah, that's interesting. Oh hi. Are you coming to clean? Sweet. So one thing that I was looking at with some of these habitats is that we have the ability to adjust them. So obviously you have these really big fenced walls. Um, but what you want to do in some of your habitats is have like a clear wall, right? So people can visit the animals. So this one actually has this, which is like a viewing center, which is really fancy. So if you've ever, I'm sure you've been in a zoo, you actually have the ability with this to get at like water level so they can see the animals in and out of it, right? In and out of it. He's not Dame, he's not. How's your day going, Danny? Anyway, you having a good day? But yeah, any anyone else got any other questions? Let's have a nosy around the park and see what animals are in here. We're trying to relocate. So that guy's being relocated. I just want to check this pen though. Is there another way out? Or is there something wrong with the enrichments? Okay, so this is what's happening, guys, is they've got no toys, so they're getting frustrated and want to go play with the people. So, let me see if we can fix that. So, reset species, and then we're going to go for grizzly bear. And there we go. Okay, so we can get him some more toys. So, let's get him a roller. He's not a big fan of the roller. Let's get him some random box. He really likes a random box, so we'll get him a couple of those. What animals have I got? Ooh, good question. Should we have a look? So, to look at what animals we have in the park, we go to zoo. And then we go to this one, which is the animals tab. And then this shows all the animals that we've currently got in the park. So, we've got some snakes, we've got some lions, some wolves, a snow leopard, some uh, lemurs, a couple giraffes, zebras, a poison frog, peafowl, Hippos, uh, some bears, a whole host of stuff, tortoises, elephants, anything you can possibly imagine. But yeah, how are you doing, Faye? Did you having a good day? Right, so what we want to do is boxed outside of habitat. So we're going to try and solve that in a minute. Oh, in lockdown for a long time. Why are they in lockdown? Okay, let's, let's try and work that out. Unbox. Oh, okay, so on the tutorial, the animals automatically unboxed, but in this mode, which is like a preview of the career, you've got to make sure you unbox your animals yourself. So that's just something to be aware of when you guys get a chance to play this. Okay, so they want some food enrichments. So let's get some of those. Yeah, I'm really good, thanks, I'm really good. Oh, Crispy coming through with the line sticker. Nice. Very nice indeed. You've never been to a gaming event? How does it work? Um, you don't bring your own PC? Cause, yeah, so we um, obviously, as part of being a content creator, we try and make relationships with different companies and different community managers who then at events um, open up opportunities that we can apply to be a part of. Okay, so what I need to do is get these guys a toy enrichment to try and bring that enrichment level back up and balance them out. <laughs> Look at that little gif. I like that. I like that. So, let's get some food. Ooh, interesting. These guys have a feeding platform. Okay, we're going to get them a feeding platform. Let's work out where to put this. This is so surreal. I now have people broadcasting me from the opposite side so let's put that there and then what have they got now this should hopefully start going up in a minute but if it doesn't 
I'm just conscious that it might not do. So what I'm going to do is a small one as well. Just in case it's like one of these things where it's like, oh, that's too big for that animal. So a lot of, a lot of what I get to do today is to try out the different bits. And if I mess it up, it's fine. You know, we can do it better when we actually get hold of the game. So, and it also means your guys aren't going to mess it up, right? So, one thing that we were on about before is how the animals have a certain environment and certain plants from that environment. Do I know the specs of the PC? No, I don't have, um, I don't have sight of that. Okay, so what I'm able to do now is I'm going to check these at the plantage in here. And the coverage is quite low, but they've got animals from the wrong um, environments, sorry, the wrong continents for this animal. So what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to start clearing off some of the continents and then, right, <laughs> the dude who's filming from the other side is just like, clocks me and he's just like, oh, okay. I think he's doing like a tour. It's quite interesting, quite interesting. So, I need to also get, so there's seven of these that I need to remove and there's one of these and then we're gonna start getting plants that are better for him. But yeah. So, let's get rid of some of these. Nice. All right. I believe all of these plants are the wrong plants. Okay, let's see how many more we've got. We've got some over here. Okay, sweet. Thank you for the stickers. Thank you. If there's anything you guys want to know in the game, we can try and find that out for you. Um, and yes, animals can escape and you can let them out. Um, we've done that a few times by now. We've done that a few times. Right. Oh, look at this little guy. So, one thing I was showing you guys before. If you double click, you get like a really good view. Look at, oh, there's his tail. Look at this little guy. How tiny is he? Oh, you must be like a little baby one. You gotta bounce, no worries. You have a great day. You have a great, great day. Thanks for popping by. Thanks for popping by indeed. Hello, little guy. <laughs> All the stickers. We can't feed pizza to the animals, though. We should... Although, we did try and do that before. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, it's super cute, isn't it? It's super cute indeed. So, what we need to do now is... We're going to try and get some more soil in this enclosure. And they're happy if we reduce the rock. So, let's go to terrain. Make sure I can still view that. And we'll go to solid. And then... If I go here, I'm going to try and make sure I don't read the wrong thing. So that balances that. And then they've also got too much short grass. So I'm going to use the soil to try and reduce that. And then once this balances, there you go. Then this environment's a lot better for them characters now. A lot better indeed. So we got one more tree to remove. And then we need to put trees in from their environment. So, oh, there's a lot... A lot of people running there. What's what is it with these bears? Is there a gap in the pen or something? <laughs> Me too. Anyone else play Zoo Tycoon 2? Yeah. So the crazy thing for me is I actually been playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. I played every Roller Coaster Tycoon, every Zoo Tycoon. So, like, when I found out this was coming out, being a fan of Planet Coaster already, I was just like, oh, my days, now we're getting the animals back, too. So, yeah, we got we got a few fans in here of them. Might be trees too close to the fences. Ooh, you reckon? Do you reckon the, tree, the bears can jump out? Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Okay, well, let's remove this tree here, because that one overhangs. That's a very interesting idea. I hadn't thought about that one. And then these trees sort of go together, don't they? Can bears climb trees? Hi, how you doing? You good? How's your day? Okay. I'm going to try and work out what we can do with that tree. Let's grab that one then. I'm conscious that if we take too many, then his habitat level's going to go down. So we're going to try and make sure that doesn't happen. They can IRL. No idea about the game. <laughs> You think they can? Ooh, okay. So this one. This one's actually full of all the wrong plants as well. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go and fix... Uh, oh no, the turtles are ill? What's wrong with the turtles? The stress. The distress in trying to hide. There's some space. Oh, so there's not enough space for the turtles. That's probably because I was a bit like, whoa! I thought we only had two turtles. Wait, did we have a boy and a girl and they've... Now we've got many turtles? Oh my days, we've got many turtles, guys. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do is we're gonna transfer some of these turtles and we're gonna sell them and they can go to a better home. Because we, we sadly don't have the space for them right now. Hi, warrior, you having a good day? Okay, so we're gonna sell this little guy. I'm gonna come back. So I think what happened there, guys, was I think the turtles actually were breeding. Because um, I'm sure we only had two giant turtles initially. So we're gonna just grab these guys out. Can I multi-select the animals? No, okay, that's fine. Hi, sea cat, you having a good day? You love the robot, nice, nice. So what do we all think of this game, guys? Have we had fun playing it? Because I've got about five minutes left and I've got to bounce. Can't leave the turtles alone, can we? No, we're not gonna do that. Hey, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm good too, thanks, I'm good. We're just looking after all these little animals. So, right now, there's too many turtles for the enclosure. It looks so good, yeah. It does. It does indeed. It looks amazing, yeah. You really like it. All fans then, we're all fans. Is this something we want to see more of on the channel, guys? We want to add this into the mix, because obviously we have Planet Coaster and we have Jurassic World that we do at the moment. So I think we're going to have to add this in, aren't we, when it comes out, right? You have to go? No worries. No worries. Okay. Might have to buy the deluxe and test out the beta. 100%. 100%. If you're like, if you're, you're going to, then I'd go deluxe. The fact you get free extra animals, like once you start getting proper into this game and you have like massive parks, that's going to make such a difference. Um, but yeah, if you buy the deluxe, that beta actually starts on the 24th of September and runs to the 8th of October. So you have about two weeks to fully take advantage and check it out. And hopefully find out all the secrets so that you can tell me. <laughs> Play it again, please. Okay. We'll make sure then when this comes out, we'll try and get it on the channel again. Okay. It looks really good. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. So I've got a few, I've got like two minutes left. I'm going to give you a quick tour of this this park. So this is the park that you see in the tutorial and you start obviously you start here and then you've got like the peacocks and stuff are in this pen and then we've seen most of the animals now. This is where the turtles are. Just hoping your PZ can handle it. Um, it shows along with Planet Coaster. What might be good to do then is if you check this out on Steam. Yeah. If you check this out on Steam um, is check the specs on that. But yeah guys I've got a bounce now. Thank you so much for hanging out and checking out this game with me. I've really enjoyed this and I hope you guys have too. Um, but yeah, 